Hello. Today our lesson is about the variance and standard deviation of the random variable. What we mean about the variance? The variance measures how far the values of random variable x are from their mean or from their expected value on average that mean we measure how the outcomes far from its expected value if we have x is a random variable then we donate it by the variance of this random variable as var of x or sigma squared was the variance equal or was the formula of the variance variance of the random variable x which is equal sigma squared equal the expected value of x naught mu squared which is equal expected value for the random variable squared minus the expected value squared this formula give us the last formula that we will use for finding the variance or sigma square which is equal xi each outcomes minus the expected value cool squared all squared multiply by corresponding probability of the outcomes then the outcomes xi minus expected value squared multiply by the probability of each outcome the standard deviation is the square root of the variance then the standard deviation denoted by sigma is equal the square root of the sigma squared what's mean a standard deviation sigma equal plus or minus the square root of sigma squared if we take an example about the variance if we take the last example that we talk in our last term about the expected value we took this example and find found in the expected value in our last lesson if we a coin three times the standard deviation of getting hit then the random variable here is getting hit the solution first step we have to find the expected value and we found the expected value in our last lesson and it was 1.5 second step variance as we used in our last here we found the variance after that we will take the square root of the variance to find the standard deviation we will take this table that in our last lesson the first column xi the outcomes of our random variable is 0 1 2 3 what mean that we have no head the first one with xi equals 0 we have no hit the second one 
is getting hit one time the third one times and the last one getting hit three times and column is about the corresponding probability of each value of xi then when we get no head the probability to get one head the probability will be eight to get two heads it will be three over eight and to get three heads the probability will be one over eight then to find the expected value as we calculated in the last lesson then we will multiply each value of outcomes multiply by the corresponding value with the probability of this value then we will multiply zero by the corresponding probability of this value equal one over eight then equal zero and one multiplied by three over eight will be three over eight two multiplied by three over eight will be six over eight and the three multiplied by one over eight will be three over eight after that to find the expected value then we will sum the values in the third column and we get the expected value is 1.5 after that we will take each value of the outcome minus the expected value that we found here then 0 minus 1.5 squared will equal 2.25 1 minus 1.5 will equal squared will equal 0.25 and 2 minus 1.5 squared will equal 0.25 and the last one 3 minus the expected value 1.5 squared will equal 2.25 then we will multiply each value in the column 4 by the corresponding probability of these values that means we will multiply 2.25 multiply by 1 over 8 will equal 0.28 and 0.25 multiply by 3 over 8 will give 0.094 and 0.25 multiply by 3 over 8 will give 0.094 and the last one 2.25 multiply by 1 over 8 will give 0.28 the sum of this column the fifth column the sum of it is, is the variance which is equal 0.748 to find the standard deviation we will take the square root of this value like the square root will be the standard deviation will equal the square root of the variance then the standard deviation will be square root of 0.748 which equal plus or minus 0.865 thank you and we will see you in the part two will we will talk about the properties of the variance thank you very much